guys, welcome back to the Book Rookie. I'm Karen, and today is Novellathon. Wee! <laughs> drinking Dunkin Donuts cinnamon roll coffee I swear to god I live by Dunkin Donuts I, I just I just love it so much today I'm going to be eating so much junk food it's crazy I'm going to be eating Nutella probably like all day I don't know, probably leftovers. It's not gonna be a very like sexy eating day. I don't know what sexy eating is, so. Okay, so I'm back in bed, which is probably going to be a mistake. Watch me just like fall asleep. I've got my pile that I'm going to be reading today. I'm going to start with Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. See you guys in a bit. I'm taking a break to say hello to my turtle, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. I'm trying to decide which book to read next. I think I've got it down to Beasts of Donation and The Suicide Shop. I think I'll go with The Suicide Shop. And then maybe after that, I'll go to Beasts of No Nation. I'm reading The Suicide Shop and I like can't even get through it. I'm laughing so hard. This is so great. I'm only on page 11 and I'm just like... <laughs> literally laughing out loud this is fantastic it's about one o'clock now I'm on page 55 of the suicide shop I'm really enjoying it um but I think I'm gonna switch back over to Cat's Cradle. I'm having a lot of fun right now. These stories are great I it's kind of interesting that I chose two very satirical and dark um, books to read at once. This is like exactly my my type of of humor. <laughs> it's kind of like very dark. We'll let you guys know um, what I'm getting into next. So I just opened up The Fires by Alan Shez and I found out that I got a signed copy. What? That's kind of awesome. It's like 1.45 and I haven't made any progress. I'm getting distracted by like the real world. And by the real world, I mean like social media. I'm really undecided whether I want to continue a Cat's Cradle right now or if I want to start the fires. I'm kind of thinking I want to I wanna finish a book. So I guess I just answered my own question. I'm a little bit bummed that I'm not getting through these books faster, but at the same time, like, it's it doesn't really matter. I'm stopping for lunch right now. Okay, I just finished The Suicide Shop. I think Chris and I are going to go uh, take a break and go to the book nook. What is this? Vlogging is weird. We're stopping at a at Chick-fil-A to get some food. Hopefully this will give me some more energy. I don't feel good. I kind of just want to take a nap. I've got a second wind. I'm about halfway through Cat's Cradle. And I'm about to pick up Beasts of No Nation. And if I can find it... Um, that new book that I just bought, the, like, whatever, the man who planted things. I have a feeling that Beast of No Nation is going to wreck me. <laughs> we can, we can hope that this goes well and that the next time you see me, I won't just be, like, completely devastated, like, crying. I'm on page 32 of this, and I swear to God, I'm about to start crying. This book is going to wreck me. I need an emotional break. I found this again, so I'm going to read this because this seems like it will be a good emotional break and I can look at pretty pictures. So I finished uh, The Man Who Planted Trees by Jean Giono. It was exactly what I needed. This is the kind of book that 
gives you faith in humanity. It seems like the books that I've been reading today have been, it's almost like there's a theme um, of kind of destruction and war and death kind of stands in direct contrast to that. Um, it's about uh, bringing back life to where there previously was none um, and kind of rejuvenation of the earth. And honestly, after reading Beasts of No Nation, this is exactly what I need. This is hard, y'all. I need, I need some more books that are uplifting. I'm probably, you know what, I'm probably going with uh, Brokeback Mountain. I hope this makes me feel better. I've never seen Brokeback Mountain either. Is this sad? Is this just like me just like, are you guys just watching me walk to my doom? Oh, that's a nice like LGBT story. Let me read that. This will be, this will be nice and fun. So I'm pretty tired, you guys. I think I'm going to call it quits for the night. I think that right now I'm at that point where I'm just like not comprehending what I'm reading. This has been really fun. I am pretty satisfied with how this went. Love you guys. Bye.